Hey YouTube, just a uh, quick unplanned video here. <clears throat> I know I did one on this same tank a couple of months ago when there was a couple of different spawns going on in the same tank. Well, um, that one there was two, two spawns, one tank. This is three, maybe four, I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna show you what we got going on. So if you're new to the channel or just running across this video, and uh, haven't watched my stuff for a while. Um, this is my 210 gallon um, Amphilophus Citronellus tank, Midas Cichlids. And um, there's like 15 of them in here. Um, they started from little two inch grow outs when I first stuck them in this tank. Um, and uh, they've grown exponentially, let's just say, and soon I'll need to clear, clear the herd a little bit. But anyway, so this is the first of three spawns right here. You can see there's some free swimmers going on. They're about a week old. Um, this pair laid eggs back on this rock. Not long later, another pair, which I'm gonna try to show you. This is the second time they've done this, but um, nothing ever came of it that I'm aware of, but they laid eggs back on this piece of driftwood right in this kind of area right below this branch in here. And they're protecting something. The eggs are gone, so I'm assuming that she's got a pile of wigglers somewhere in there. It's really hard to, to try to get in there with the camera because of all the fish swimming around. Um, but um, definitely you can see the way she's acting. And then come down here just now and I find these this pair in the process of actually spawning um, the glare is gonna be tricky to show you this but she's actually still laying eggs and then there's a bunch of eggs right there there she goes see And he's basically, uh, I haven't seen him do his thing yet, but he's fending off everyone, Keep keeping them out of there. Maybe he's gonna go now. Yep, so he's doing his thing too. So basically, I got three pairs of Midas and then a bunch of them that are just kind of stuck in the middle here. It's pretty interesting. When I said possibly four, the jewels that if you saw in my last video, um, they, the male isn't, but the female is just lit up just like fire engine red and now she's not coming out so i'm not sure if they're ready to spawn or they have and she's hiding some wigglers back there too there she is you can just barely see her tail under that rock there's a lot of glare here too so it's not the best video but i'd really like to try to find these wigglers and see what they've got back there but i just can't can't do it, but anyway, I'll step back a little bit so that they don't think that they're gonna get fed and, and that, but. Um, so yeah, it's uh, Midas mania going on over here in the fish room. And then just to top things off, this pair is trying really hard. They're doing a lot of lip locking. They, they, they were right before I turned the camera on. I'm not kidding. Now he's gonna probably go rough, try to rough her up a little bit which, you know, lip, lip locking is usually a sign where they're trying to test each other. Or more importantly, the male's trying to test the female to see if she's worthy. She can stand up to him. And then on top of that, these guys over here spawned last week, but it didn't go too well. Um, I had been thinking that they were probably going to because her tube was down and they had just been showing a lot of behavior and then on top of that, um, that 
she was hanging out in the pot a lot. So was he. So one day I came down and saw her tube way down, like she just got done laying eggs or maybe that I caught her in the middle of it. But it was kind of odd. Um, I noticed that there was a bunch of gravel in the pot, like he or maybe she had spit it in there because there wasn't earlier in the day. And then there was just a little quarter sized area of eggs down kind of on the bottom that were, that, you know, they might have wigglers somewhere. They're being really protective here. Um, but anyway, there was, uh, like I say, there was uh, like a quarter sized thing of eggs down on the bottom of the pot. But then out here in this area where all the gravel was, it was kind of cleared away like it is now. And I could see a bunch of eggs floating around kind of um, on the bottom of the aquarium. So I don't know if they didn't stick or if they just couldn't figure things out well and weren't, do, weren't just weren't good for their first time and, you know, moved the eggs or, or bit the eggs and spit them out or did something. I'm not quite sure what happened, but so it's a good sign that they spawned, but they weren't, uh, weren't good parents as far as taking care of them. But that can happen sometimes when the first time that a pair does spawn, this pair has never spawned together before. Um, and, uh, you know, recently I switched females between Cheeto and this one, so they've never been together before. So this could be a deal where they're working out the kinks. Um, and that type of thing so uh i don't plan on pulling any of the fry i've got more midas than i can do deal with right now um but uh you know i guess never say never but you know i've had um two other spawns from Midas in this tank and I just didn't pull them and eventually they, they eat them. You know, who knows, maybe one or two can survive and hide out and then, you know how you've all done it if you're, if you do, if you're into breeding cichlids, um, all of a sudden someday you'll find a small fingerling or something. Oh man, just noticed that there's some eggs that have kind of come loose on this one over here. But there's a ton up here on the top of the, you just really can't see because of the, because uh, of the uh, glare. I'm gonna walk over here. I think I got a flashlight over here. Yeah, I do. Cool. It's got batteries on. Look at those. I mean, that is a load of eggs. And again, I, I don't plan on pulling fry from this tank. I've got nowhere to really grow them out now. Not interested in shipping anymore, that type of thing. I just don't, no, that's part of the hobby that I've kind of, at least for the time being, kind of, I'm done with. I just don't, don't have time or energy to do a lot of shipping and stuff anymore, but you know, it's still fun and really cool to know that fish are spawning in your fish room. It's, uh, you know, it's just part of the hobby, but it's, it's something cool to watch. But it also lets you know that you're taking good care of your fish, that your water parameters are good, um, that they're living in pristine conditions. You know, with this many fish in this tank here, I have to do massive, massive water changes. And I've got way more i've got six sponge filters in there way more filtration than i probably need but that's what you got to do if you are um keeping more fish than you probably should in a tank this is an overstocked tank i'm not going to lie to you and it's not gonna not gonna stay that way forever but um one thing i wanted to do was grow up some midas i also wanted to have a midas community i'll have to lessen the load for sure but i, I would like to have um you know, a handful of adult Midas that all get along together in this tank someday as they grow. So I'm gonna slowly weed out the ones that I don't want and keep the good specimens. But as you can see, man, there's a ton of nice looking males with nice nuchal humps already. I mean, look at this guy. This guy with this pair over here is 
one back here that's nice. I mean, there's there's several that are just good looking fish. The only thing I will say though is that they are lighter in color than I would like. I like the Midas's that have the just the bright orange to them like these. The two males here, and they're getting their genes from the females. Um, you know, these, these came from this male and this female, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And they've just got the more, not quite as uh, bright orange colors. They're still nice looking though, I like them. And as they get older, things could change. They could get some of that piebald going on. It's just hard to see, but that's kind of the fun of it too, is just watching to see what happens. Let's take a look at these fry here real quick. Anyway, I've rambled long enough, but sometimes when I come downstairs and see that type of thing going on, I think it's pretty fun and I feel like I should just share it with, uh, with the YouTube community. Well, that's all I got. Um, if you're interested in fish food, I sell Southern Delight fish food, as most of you probably know, on a, got my website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. I also sell other aquarium-related products and foods, uh, shrimp foods, shrimp products, things like that. So uh, go check it out. And thanks for watching. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. See you guys later.